Hi everyone, it's Dawn and I hope you're having a fantastic week. Today I want to talk to you about some changes that have just happened with Carnival Cruise Line and they've changed their cheers package, the uh, alcoholic all-inclusive drink package that they offer and although they've changed it and made it a little worse, it really I don't think is going to affect too many people and I still think it's one of the best drink packages out there and that's coming from a non-drinker so let's get into that and talk about her right after this. So first off, let's do a quick recap of what the uh, the Cheers package is all about. First off, if you book it before you get on the cruise, it costs around $52 US. If you book it on the cruise, it costs around $57. Uh, also on top of that, you're automatically charged a 15% gratuity to that. And that's why I always say as well, when you're looking at you're in the bar and if you ever get a receipt from the bartender make sure you double check that receipt remember you're paying an extra 15 percent already for the gratuities also sometimes the bars themselves will add a gratuity on there and uh, then you're going to tip besides that because there's a spot on on the slip that you can add tips to if you want Remember, you've already paid 15% the minute you book your drink package. So take that into mind, yet if you have good service, you want to give something extra, that's totally up to you. The guys that, and the ladies and gentlemen that work on a cruise line deserve every penny that they get when they provide good service. Now, we get into the drink package itself. And why it's one of the better ones I like is because it really is pretty much all-inclusive. Uh, you're allowed 15 alcoholic drinks per day. That's from 6 a.m. to 6 a.m. Not from 6 p.m. to 6 p.m. 6 a.m. to 6 a.m. So that's when their time clock starts. You're allowed up to 15 alcoholic drinks, but that doesn't mean they won't cut you off if you're inebriated. So also keep that in mind. Uh, also, it includes specialty coffees, uh, juices, milkshakes. It includes... Uh, your bottled water in the restaurants it includes soda as well and as you know some cruise lines their all-inclusive drink packages don't include like specialty coffees and they don't necessarily include soda sometimes so this is a really good package and the price is actually quite reasonably uh, reasonable I think for 57 or say 52 dollars if you book it in advance that's not too too bad the main change that they just did with the Cheers package is that they changed the limit of what each alcoholic drink can be before they start to charge you. So going in the past, it was up to a $50 drink. Now that can be champagne by the glass, wine by the glass, or any alcohol, whiskey, uh, rye, rum, whatever you want, a cocktail you can think of, as long as it was $50 or under. It was included in the drink package. They changed that price now to twenty dollars. Doesn't seem like a whole lot, but as you know, if you get into some good whiskeys or good cognac, uh, not cognac, uh, good whiskey, good wines, good champagne, you're going to get uh, probably over that twenty dollar per glass range. And so uh, that's a big change. They didn't cut it in half. They they cut it sixty <laughs> percent. Of what you're you were able to do before so that's quite a quite a drop that being said there's plenty and plenty of drinks out there that are well under twenty dollars and it really won't affect most people unless you're somebody who likes the finer alcohol and it means something to you your taste buds are attuned to a, a better wine or a better champagne this might affect you Another thing about the drink package is that it comes with some discounts as well that a lot of people really don't know. First off, if you happen to get something over the $20, you get a 25% discount. So if it's $25, whatever the difference is from $20 to $25, so $5, you would get 20%, 25% off of the $5 that, that's over. 
So that's a little bit of a help, especially when you're talking about bottles of wine at dinner where bottles of wine can go easily up into the hundreds of dollars for a, a good wine. And I've actually seen a bottle of wine go for $5,000 at the table I was sitting at. So <laughs> keep that in mind as well. Make sure if you're not one of those people who want a $5,000 bottle of wine, don't just point to a wine and say, I want that. Make sure you know the price because I have horror stories where I've actually seen a gentleman at a table and he ordered a bottle of wine for him and his wife. They were celebrating and the waiter came back and he gave them uh, the bottle, you know, the bottle of wine they served, they had their good dinner, and then their bill came at the end on the, on there, and the, the bottle was over $4,000. And he says, is that, the, is that the price of the bottle of wine? And the, ma the waiter said, yes, uh, you know, that's the bottle of wine that you ordered. There's the price right there on the menu. And he says, well, I didn't realize it was that much. Why didn't you tell me? But... You, you got to take it from the wait staff and the bartender's point of view. Uh, how are they going to tell you that uh, and not insult somebody? You know, can they go to you and say, sir, uh, are you sure you can afford that? I know I would have liked it because I don't want to spend $4,000 on a bottle of wine, but you can see their point. They don't want to insult their passengers by accusing them of not being able to afford something on the menu. So double check your prices before you order one of those bottles of wine to celebrate because some of them can be very, very expensive. But you do get a 25% discount if you happen to order it by mistake. So that's, that's something good. Another thing that happens is you also can get 25% discounts on drink seminars and drink classes. So if you're going to a mixology class and you want to learn how to make some of these beverages, you get 25% off that as it technically it counts as a shore excursion on the ship. Uh, so you, yeah, 25% off that. And if two of you are doing it and it costs $100 each, well, you, eat, you just save 50 bucks just because you bought the drink pack. And also that covers, the 25% discount covers all bottled wine and bottled champagne as well. So anything that you buy by the bottle instead of by the glass, as you know in the main dining, you can buy, you normally buy to buy the glass. Uh, if you order the bottle, that is not covered obviously in the drink package. It's only by the glass, but the 25% discount kicks in if you want to order a bottle of wine. Keep that in mind for yourselves as well. If you're ordering in the main dining or a specialty restaurant and the, the wine is under the $20 thing, order it by the glass. Even if you have to order two or three, uh, if you order a bottle, you're getting charged for the bottle. It's not going to be covered in your drink package. So don't think it's going to be, well, uh, the bottle's 40, but it's three gla four glasses of wine. So, you know, we're good. No, that's not how it works. Bottles are separate than glasses. So what do you think? Do you think that dropping it from a $50 limit on what kind of glass of alcohol that you can get to $25 to $20 is a big deal? Uh, personally, I don't think so, but I'm not a connoisseur of fine wines or anything like that. So, um, you know, uh, I'm perfectly happy giving, getting whatever they put in my alcohol. I really can't tell the difference because uh, you know, I, I hardly drink ever myself. So, um, yeah, let me know what you think. Do you think this is just a way to squeeze or do you think it kind of makes sense uh, for Carnival to do this? That, that $50 per alcohol limit was a little high and $20 seems more reasonable because really when you're on your cruise, how many alcoholic drinks do you get is over $20, not too many on the menu. So. There you go. I hope you like this video. I hope you know a little bit more about the Cheers package and what you can get benefits from. Like I said, it basically includes everything from sodas to specialty coffees, milkshakes, bottled water, yet don't get that on a lot of the other packages with some of the other cruise lines. So I still think Carnival has one of the better ones out there. And that's one of the reasons they're known as the party cruise line because, <laughs> you know, they include everything. So. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more tips, more tricks, more travel vlogs from around the world, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Till next time, 
Have yourself a safe and a great vacation.